Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to show you guys my creation of Effie Trinket. I hope you guys enjoy this. I absolutely love these butterfly lashes. This wig is a little bit crazy and hard to deal with and I kind of feel like a clown. And yeah, I do have my hair in a ponytail because for the sake of this video, I didn't want to struggle to be putting on a wig cap. You can of course do your own version of Effie Trinket. This isn't the exact look that she has in any part of the movie. I just wanted to do an exaggerated version of her. She does have these butterfly lashes and she has like flowers and that butterfly orange yellow type costume that she wore. If you guys want to see how I created Effie Trinket, this wig is in my way. <laughs> if you guys want to see how I created Effie Trinket, keep watching this video. The first thing I did was pop in my earrings just to kind of get in the spirit of Effie. I'm taking my Revlon Photo Ready Foundation in Nude. I did about one and a half pumps and with my Real Techniques stippling brush, I'm going to put that all over my face, blend it down to my neck. You want to go with a foundation that is about two shades lighter than you. Maybe one if you're going to feel uncomfortable with, you know, going to cover your entire face until you look kind of pale. This is where it kind of gets a little creepy looking. We're going to lighten our eyebrows just because that's just how her eyebrows are. I'm going to take a white eyeliner pencil. I don't know where this is from, but I'm going to go over my eyebrows with this. See how that's turning out? We're going to be putting eyeshadow up here, so that's why I would did the eyebrows first. You don't have to completely cover them up. It's just to lighten them. Ooh, on to the next one. What I'm also going to do to help lighten them is use my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and just kind of do about three dots. Use my Sony Kashuk brush and pat on my eyebrows. And we don't want to completely conceal them, just lighten them. You should still be able to see my eyebrows. Now that we're done lightening our eyebrows, we are going to go on to the eyeshadow. So I'm using the Milani eyeshadow primer in nude. I'm going to prime my eyes all the way up to the bottom of my eyebrow since we're going to be putting eyeshadow there. After your eye primer dries for about 30 seconds, you want to grab any white, kind of snowy, shimmery eyeshadow. I'm grabbing snow from my Lorac Pro 2 palette. I'm going to put the color snow about half, on about half of my lid. I'm going just like this, all the way up to my brow. All the way up. And just kind of blending it out this way. But I'm definitely going to pack it on my lid so the color is right here in the inner corner. And even drag some down here. How long we make up? So it doesn't have to be perfect. Woo! Just like that. Once you're done with that, you want to grab a light pink color and a fluffy brush. So any nice light pink color will do. I'm grabbing this light pink. You want to... Blend that light pink from the outer corner of your eye towards the middle. If you guys don't have any pink eyeshadows, you guys can use any pink, nice pink blush that you have. I'm using the pearlescent pink blush from Wet n Wild. Now that we're done with our eyeshadow, I'm going to line my eyes right underneath. You can use any black eyeliner that you want. I'm using the Wet n Wild Color Icon Eyeliner in black. Curl my lashes and use the Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara from L'Oreal. Now comes one of the fun parts of the costume. 
The eyelashes that I'm using are the Bewitching Eyes Woodland Dreams from Fantasy Makers. And I got these for $5 at Spirit Halloween. Let me give you a close-up of how they look like. I wanted to get the eyelashes that kind of resemble the ones that she had with her butterfly costume. These are paper eyelashes, so you do have to be extra careful with these. And just like every other eyelash, you want to make sure that the lashes fit perfectly to your eyelids. I already had measured them before, so once you do, just use a nail clipper and clip it off. I don't know if you guys see, just use a nail clipper and clip it off. Now that we cut it, that's for the top lash, and she does have a little lower lash. So I'm using this tiny little butterfly piece. And the way that I did that is the axis that I had cut off. I don't know if you guys can tell, but there is a deer at the bottom of this lash. These antlers, they kind of look like a lower lash, so I'm just going to snip that off and use the antlers and the butterfly on my bottom lash if I could find it because I just dropped it. Now that you have everything cut and customized, you want to grab your favorite eyelash glue. I'm using the Duo Eyelash Adhesive Eyelash Glue, and I'm just going to put a little bit on my hand. Use the back of my eyeshadow brush and grab a little bit so I can apply it onto the eyelash. I'm going to line my eyes a little bit, try to make the eyeliner that I already did a little bit more intense. Ooh. And they honestly don't feel more uncomfortable than eyelashes. They feel just like any other eyelash. And we're going to do the same thing with the lower lash <laughs> that we created. Now that we're done with the fake eyelashes, we are going to do the lower lashes. Now we are going to completely conceal the lips. So I'm just gonna do, put that on there. And with my foundation brush, I'm going to apply this all over my lips. I wanna grab a lip liner that is pink or whatever color you're going with. But since I don't have that, I'm just gonna go ahead and put my lipstick on only in the center of our lips kind of stop right here I'm using the Revlon Prim Rose <laughs> and the lipstick Strawberry Shortcake by Jordana right over it just because it's a little bit lighter to kind of help give our lips more of that shape, I'm going to put a little bit of concealer that I used earlier on my hand and a little tiny brush. Grab a little bit of concealer and slim your lips out like that. I want them slim towards the outside and more plump towards the middle. Make sure to blend it out. You don't want any harsh lines. I'm going to mattify it a little bit with the pearlescent pink blush. And of course, for the exaggerated blush, I'm going to use pearlescent pink by wet n wild and put that all over our cheeks so that's pretty much it for the makeup and now for the wig Ta -da! this is the wig that i bought from halloween city and this flower came from icing they were leaving the mall and they're gonna open a new store there so everything was on sale it was only four dollars and this wig i don't remember how much it was but i will put that down below of course you have to wear 
the biggest earrings that you have. I have these flower earrings from who knows where. I hope you guys enjoyed this Halloween Effie trinket look and thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you in my next Halloween tutorial video. Bye!